Hi, and welcome to the Texas Flycaster channel. Be sure to check out the website www.texasflycaster.com. Hey guys, we're out here on Lake Ray Roberts today, and I'm just playing a little whack a mole, chasing these sand bass out here. Um, this is something we do later in the day. You know, if you're hungry like me and need food on the table, sand bass is great eating. Um, you know, there's a lot of small ones right now, but the big ones will be in soon. So let's go to the Texas Fly Fishing Report for this week. Back to the fly bar, and we'll finish up there. Thanks for watching as usual. Thanks for subscribing to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. And don't forget, go to www.texasflycaster.com for the most information you can get on fly fishing in Texas. Thanks for watching. Morning guys, and I do mean morning. It's pretty early here on the fly bar. Welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report for July 7th, 2017. Before I really get underway, I'm gonna tell you there might be a little background noise. I got the fan going. It's pretty hot already, hot and humid here in North Texas. Uh, July 7th is a very important date on my calendar. Two years ago today, while I was on vacation with my family in Bay St. Louis, oh, excuse me, Gulf Shores, Alabama. I've been to, been to Bay St. Louis, though. Uh, in Gulf Shores, I was got the phone call two years ago today that I was diagnosed with cancer in my throat, throat cancer. And so a little public service announcement comes out first today, and that is um, if you have suspect you have problems, make sure you go to the doctor if you want to live. That's all I can say. Um, one in two men will get cancer in their lifetime, one in three women. Today is bittersweet, sweet for me, but on the other hand, bitter because a good friend of ours finds out today whether or not she has cancer. So you get older and these things happen. Um, you can choose to, to live through them and by the grace of God and the help of my family and especially my wife, number one, first and foremost, I sit before you today with the luxury and the, the, the honor of being able to, uh, to carry on with Texas Fly Fishing Reports and, and a life that has been good to me. And I hope you guys out there watching will take note. And especially in my case, my cancer came from the HPV virus. So those commercials you see on TV, if you have children uh, of that age that are able to take the uh, shot, um, consult your doctor, make your own decision, but uh, if I'd had the shot, this wouldn't have happened to me. And of course, when I was the right age, the shot didn't even exist. So there's several strains of the HPV virus, more than likely uh, most of you men have it. Um, of the strains there are, only three of them cause cancer, and I just happened to catch the silver bullet in the throat. So that's the way it goes, that's why. I, I talk so monotone nowadays because my throat is taking it on the chin, so to speak. My chin's taking it on the chin too. But anyway, uh, bear with me and ride along on the Texas Fly Fishing Reports and of course visit the Texas Flycaster website. Here in North Texas, the uh, weather has turned hot, humid, and with interim bouts of, of pop-up storms and, and uh, and the high winds on the lake. So it's been hard. I've had to push some guide trips around. And uh, next week is a full week of guiding, photography, and other things like that. I see carp, but I went out last night and uh, just messing around, looking for bass and things like that in the evening hours. And they're so scattered, and, and, and just there's just not enough of that other kind of fishing to do right now. We're kind of in what I call the doldrums. Um, where patterns are yet to form, uh, except for the fun of, of the carp life. Uh, on this report at the end, as always, there'll be a scroll, and on that scroll will just be generic information from Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. I gotta get a drink of water. Like I said, throat cancer. So, um, what you wanna do is scroll through, look at, look at your local lake, or especially the Gulf Coast. Uh, I have more detailed information now. I'm kind of shifting to where I'm going to actually write the details of what I'm reading and I'm going to also provide you with your own resources where you can go to get the information I get if you want. You don't have to come here if you don't, if you don't want to. 
I, I love having you, and I love the uh, the uh, folks that that watch and, and actually listen and, and respond. But if you wanted to find this out on your own piecemeal, what I do is I try to assemble information all all together in one big package here. But if you wanted to assemble this information piecemeal, that information, where I get this information is on the website right now on the post that's appearing today with this video on the website at www.texasflycaster.com within that I'll tell you where I go weekly to glean information and uh, I'm going to start like I said printing the information about the hot spots that I see based on the reports that I see um, that basically back each other up. The things that, that more than one place talk about, that's what you're going to see. Um, one hint that I, I'll just give you straight up on this is in salt water it's starting to scatter a little bit, um, but the Bolivar Peninsula and Rollover Pass is what you want to think about in the northern area. The tech, I just can't keep from giving you this information. And the, uh, the, on the Texas Gulf Coast, so that's the BP and Rollover. And on the southern end, South Padre Island's holding up really well. Um, they're having good reports down there, especially out in the flats um, by South, what I think they call it, South Lake. I've been there, I just forgot the name of it. That's another, another thing with, with radiation and chemo is you, you tend to, uh, to have become more forgetful for a while. I'm getting a lot better than I used to be, of course but it's only been two years. <laughs> two years seems like a long time and when you're waiting for your for your prize to appear from your box tops, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, two years goes by in the blink of an eye. So, make sure you visit the website this time and click on that pay to read thing. It's gonna be pay-per-view content because that's what I have to do. It's not what I wanna do, it's what I have to do. That puts gas in the tank. Click on the pay-per-view and read the details of, of this week's report from what I gleaned from re watching TV, which you'll find out about, and reading all these reports that I read every week. Um, I appreciate you watching. There's some new videos on the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. We surpassed 1,000 subscribers, which is a landmark, of course, and now we're looking to go to 10,000 in two years. So that's a pretty ambitious goal. Of course, there's always, always some distraction. Maybe I'll get a job, who knows? Doing this, who knows? But anyway, thank you. Thank you for your prayers when I was ill. And of course, I hope you, for the haters out there, I'm sorry, I'm still here. For the guys that like, that's great. Um, and I appreciate your encouragement. I really wanna reach out, of course, and, and say thank you to Real Recovery. That's a great organization that helped me last year when I was in the midst of my recovery in 2016 with communicating in a, in a totally male environment uh, problems I didn't even know I had so mental problems things like that um, with the whole experience and, and basically um, cancer is very hard on men it's hard on women it, it takes no prisoners and you have to fight the whole way and the fight goes on there's no telling if I got I'm two years in I've got three years to go before the all clear signal that's a that seems like a forever to me because a lot of changes in three will happen in, in three years time once the all clear signal gets gets called and we're putting a lot of our life on hold in several different aspects because of that five-year window but I want to thank my doctors and nurses as well some of whom um, I, you know, I still see, and that they, uh, I've even got one of the nurse's sons fly fishing with me this year, so that, that's it's great. Um, you never know what you can do as a cancer beater. I don't call it survivor, I call it beater, because I beat it, and I beat it back, um, in respect to helping someone else who might come up with the with nearly the same type of cancer or something totally different but you know what you what they're going to go through so anyway not to linger on that I want you to have a great weekend I hope July 4th was good for you I know it was really busy for me and please let me know if you're catching fish somewhere in Texas so that I can get that information and I won't spoil your spot or anything like that I'll just be very generic and very general 
and give that information to uh, to the fly fishing public. You know, these reports at the end are fishing reports, not fly fishing reports. So it's up to you to translate that into workable information for your fly fishing. Uh, of course, it translates much easier on the coast, whether it's top water or whatever, um, than it does in freshwater situations, the, the Texas lake systems. Um, be careful out there. The weather's kind of unpredictable in the afternoons with the heat up. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week here on Texas Flycaster. And don't forget www.texasflycaster.com. Thanks for watching this week's Texas Fly Fishing Report. And again, if you have time, be sure to go to www.texasflycaster.com. There's more details there. There's information about my guiding service and a plethora of other information that you might find interesting. And if you have any information for me, please feel free to let me know and I'll be glad to take a look.